Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got an idea for a Code Blocks jet engine. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So the first step is to get into Code Blocks. Once we get there, we are going to hit Create New Code Block. On the next little screen, I need you to also hit New Design. The first step is to name it, and we're going to put Engine. When you work with these designs, we need to create objects. The first thing we're going to do is create the body of the engine. So just bring that out, rename it, and type body. We're going to create our body with a shape called a cylinder. When you drop it underneath, click on its settings, and I want you to put a radius of 8 and press Enter. Let's change the sides to 64 so it's more round. And I want a bevel of 2. And I'm going to tell you to leave the edge steps as one. When we hit play, that shape will show up. That is going to be our awesome little engine. Remember in Tinkercad code blocks, they always draw at zero, zero. So we need to raise it up half its height. Move to modify, grab a move. It's 20 high, so let's raise it 10. When we hit play, you can see it will now be at the top half. We're going to add a back to this engine, and we're going to do that with a paraboloid. Move over to the shapes, grab the paraboloid, open its parameters, and we need its radius to be 8 as well. We're going to change its height to 15, and we're going to make its sides 64. When we press enter, you'll notice it draws in the same shape. We're going to do some adjustments. We're going to first rotate that. And we're going to rotate it around X 180 degrees. Play. You can see that flips, and it's still not as high as I want. That's too high, so now I'm going to switch it to 23. Once again, I'm using guess and check to align this the way I want. That's a pretty sweet jet engine, even though it's pointing up. Let's hollow out our jet engine by returning to the shapes and bringing out another cylinder open its parameters and make this one a hole. This one was eight, so let's make this one six. We will keep the height 20, we will make the side 64. We will leave the edge steps as zero, and we know we're gonna have to raise it up, so let's do that right now as well. Modify and move. Let's go to that same 23. Speed up our moves, and when we hit play, you can see that is right on top, right where we'd want it. Friends, let's quickly duplicate that chunk. Make the second one four, so it's skinnier. And then put it at a height of 10. And when we hit play, you'll see it lines up below. And it lines up perfectly. And then we can use create group to cut the whole of our engine out. Now we can see all the way through our cool little engine. All right, friends, this one's built, so I'm going to collapse all those blocks. And let's bring out our next part. Friends, we're going to make something called a fin. Remember, I always start with a brand new one of these, rename it, and we're going to call it fin. Fins are going to be super simple. We're going to build it with a shape called a sphere. Once again, when you bring it out, stretch out its properties. I want you to type the number two for the radius, and then immediately let's move to the scale command. It is gonna be 0 0.5, the Y is gonna be two, and the Z is gonna be 0 0.1. If yours ends up being too tall, you missed one of those zeros, friends. Then we are going to move this shape so it shows up in a better spot for us. We are gonna type the number 2.25 for how far over we're gonna move it. All right, friends, so right here you can see we've got the start of a prop, but we need to rotate it. Move to modify and bring out a rotate. We're going to rotate around Y, and then I want you to put the number 45 right here. When you hit play, you can see that stands up, and it looks a lot like the blade on a turbine. We're going to take this one blade, and we're going to make it many, many. Bring out a new create object and rename it as fins. This is where we're gonna create all of them. We're gonna add those fins 
by using the control and the sweet count with I. Instead of one to 10, we're gonna go from one to 36 because we want 36 of these little blades. Under modify, we're gonna add a copy of our wicked cool fin. When that fin comes in, friends, all we need to do is rotate it. When you bring out that rotate, change it to Z, and instead of 90, we're gonna do some fancy math. Simply bring out your math chunk and make it times. Grab your variable I. Remember the variable I is gonna increase from one to 36. 36 times 10 will be 360 degrees. Take this and put it up in that math location. Remember, always put the left edge, not the right edge. Once you drop it in, we need to get the zero, zero pivot. And boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, when you hit play, boom, instant, awesome turbine prop. Now my friends, it is time to turn it into an engine. So let's create that new object. Once again, hit rename and we're gonna call it engine. Friends, we're gonna add these pieces with the create a new object. Remember, we've got a body and we've got fins. So we only need two of these. And when we go to data, we're gonna put the body and we're gonna put the fins right here. We did not need to reuse the fin because we already built it. Since we've used all our parts now, we can hit delete object. Remember, we've got a total of three objects. So let's delete all three of them. That way they're out of our way. And we're gonna delete the body and we're gonna delete the fin and we're gonna delete the old fins. Now we do need to move this up. Let's hit move and let's do a quick guess. I think we're gonna have to go up about 40. Let's hit play and see how that looks. <laughs> it was a little bit high. So let's just try 30 and hit play. That's not bad, but I think the spot I really wanted is 32. That's pretty amazing. You can see it's touching the edges. Watch this, we're gonna fix that by dropping a scale in here. And we're gonna do 0.9 and 0.9 for the scale of X and Y. Let's see if that fits a little better. That I like. I also want the color to be different. I'm gonna make that a dark gray. I want the body of my engine to be red. And when we hit play, that is a pretty wicked airplane engine. Friends, I wanna add a bonus piece up here in the front. I am gonna simply go back to shapes and I wanna put a paraboloid up on the front of this. When you bring it out, I'm gonna type the size three. I'm gonna make it bright white and then I'm just gonna move it to that location and see what it looks like. Now we know that it's gotta be up around 32 so let's see what it looks like if we just type 32 and hit play. There come the fins <laughs> and it's up there, but it's crazy high. I do like the idea though, but I'm just gonna move it back so that it's at a better size with the scale command. I'm gonna change it to 0 0.3 and then I'm gonna also make these 0 0.8. And this is where you can have fun making yours a little more custom and try and make it look a little more realistic. I am happy with that. My final part of the project is going to be to group it. Once again, make sure you get your colors exactly the way you want. You can leave multicolor on, but you'll want this one part to all be grouped and ready to be used. Alrighty friends, so there you have it. One sweet jet engine in almost no time. I do want to rotate it so it's ready for our projects. We want to rotate around X, 90 degrees. Let's hit play and see if that is the correct way to have it rotated. I'll zoom out. There's my work plane. So yeah, that's just how I would use it in a jet. So I can now hit export and I want to save it as a part so that I can use it in the rest of my projects. I'm going to call it jet engine. 
You could add a tag. I'm gonna keep the colors. I'm never gonna lock the part size and I'm gonna save that shape for future use. Friends, don't forget if you need to take a screenshot, this is your screenshot page. It is also where you can create the sweet animated GIF. If you hold down shift and right click drag, you can arrange it. And that way you can actually hit animated GIF and watch it do all the work as it assembles. While it's moving, you can adjust this so that you can actually see it happen as well. It allows you to create a sweet animated GIF in no time. All right, friends, so I hope you are starting to see just how useful code blocks can be for building something that is precise and ends up looking pretty darn sweet. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.